one of the things I wanted to touch on was content, right? And building your brand and getting yourself out there as we roll into insurance influencers. Most people, um, like Eric, was just told that he needed to do more branding wise um, and, and content wise. So one of the things I always think through in our business is that one of the things that we do is, yeah, we post a lot on Facebook. Yeah, we post a lot on YouTube. Yeah, I post Instagram and Facebook stories 10 to 15 times a day, sometimes more. Um, but I was looking at our week. I think it was Sunday or Monday. I was looking at last week. And last week, we had 13 Facebook posts last week. Okay, Eight of those, and that's almost two a day. Most people are not that active. Okay, Eight of those were videos. Three of those were live videos and two were graphics. Now, our content's always going to be focused on video because people respond to, people like the educational content. We're like a insurance TV in a box, right? We're educating. Um, 13 on Facebook. YouTube, we dropped 13. So we must not have dropped them all on the Facebook that we just put on YouTube. We dropped 13 videos on YouTube, whether it was short videos, podcast, long videos, educational videos, tip videos interviews or even uh, shows, right? So we did, we dropped 13 videos on YouTube. If you think about that and you take a step back and you look at over the next like 52 weeks, okay? Even 50 weeks. And actually, if you look, you know what? Let's look at, I mean, it, I mean, if you look at 13, you're at, at 50 weeks, you're at 650 videos. If, if you take it times 52 weeks, you're at... Um, what an extra 26 so so 676 676 total videos dropped over the course of 52 weeks a year from an SEO standpoint and a content point standpoint you are going to lead the pack number one okay you're gonna lead the pack welcome to insurance influencers you're also going to have that much content that's out there and available from an SEO standpoint what most people don't understand and what they don't realize is I mean for instance Assurance IQ was just sold to Prudential for 2.5 billion dollars I guarantee you a lot of what they were doing was SEO based and traffic based to that site getting people to let them shop their term health insurance Medicare home home and auto right and so what most people don't think about is the long-term play everybody's always thinking about the short term and and when you think about the short term you don't produce content you don't do videos. You don't have a video team. You don't even outsource it to someone like us with our media department um, because you're thinking so short term. But if you're ever wanting to like build a brand, have prospects reach out to you, build a team, sell anything that helps insurance people or grow a telesales operation, any of those, you need a personal brand that drives people to you. Now, if you're not in that group, and I don't know who isn't, I guess. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe there's, you know, the agent that just wants to sell insurance forever, and and, and that's, you know, none, none of those other things are important to them. Then a brand isn't important, content isn't important, video is important. But if any of those five things I mentioned are really, really, really important to you, then having a personal brand, pushing out content, being an influencer in your space is extremely, extremely valuable and important. So that's one of the things that like we don't talk about and our industry doesn't talk about our, our industry almost frowns on it because it's like oh that person's fake and they're just trying to put out stuff and they're just trying to get attention well no crap they're just trying to get attention right in, in our world nowadays it's all about attention whoever has attention gets paid for it right we get paid decently well and do a lot of business with agents because we are a content leader we put out more content than anyone else in our space we produce more videos by far than anyone else in our space and I've been doing it for almost four years, and we've got a trail of 12, 1,300 videos on YouTube that people are always watching. So when you think about it, eventually your goal is to be an, in, an actual influencer. And if any of those things are, that we talked about those five areas, if you're ever wanting to be any of those, then you have to establish a content schedule and put out content. We could do more, right? We've spent... I guarantee you, when you add everything up, we've spent over six figures on this room, this studio, because it's a long-term play for me. Um, there's, I mean, most people, most people wouldn't have a marketing staff of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve people, but we do 
just on the marketing team because I'm thinking long term, right? Most of the people on the marketing department don't drive short term revenue for me. Let me say that again. Most of the people on our marketing team aren't driving short term revenue. They are built, they are helping us build and grow our message and our following by producing a crap ton of content, which is unique and rare. And some, some can say, Hey dude, you just learned to do this by watching Grant Cardone. That's a absolutely true. He's an influencer in his space. And I realized that he did all these shows, not because those shows have the best content in the world ever, but he puts out so many videos and does so many shows because he's got like, and he's got like almost, he's got over 4,000 videos on YouTube now. So it's hard to not have a massive following when you put out that much content. The content could suck and you would still have a following just because you are consistent and religious with it. And some people will hate your content. Some people will love it. Some people resonate with it and they'll keep watching it. So if you're ever wanting to like, that's why we're adding a media branch to our team and how we can actually come on site and blow up your brand, record videos of you, build videos for you, edit, record, upload, even manage your YouTube. Most of the YouTube channels in our space are not good or they have 32 subscribers and, and, and 12 videos or 200 videos with 400 subscribers and no thumbnails, no tags, no descriptions, the titles suck. And you know, like if someone, if someone's titling something, you know, um, Medicare Q and a, that is not a title, right? The point of titles is to find the core message of that video, the most attractive part, the most clickbaity part, if you want to call it that, and then title the video that so people want to click on it and watch it, right? So the podcast yesterday we did, uh, we released yesterday, the day before, was about how to write 6,000 Medicare policies in a year. That is a catchy title. And it was, we didn't talk about that the whole, t- whole time in the podcast, but that was the core piece of the podcast, right? So most people are not doing enough. There's people that I know that are in my network right now and Dylan, I, I almost want you to use this as a separate little clip. There are people in my network that could be owning their space and 10 xing the traffic that they are getting to their brand, but they aren't. And if that's if you're one of those people watching, you're like, dude, I know who you're talking. I know you're talking about me. Then we need to talk because yeah, we may talk all the time. But if you aren't leading from a content perspective in your space, we can help, right? If you want to leverage Dylan and Keith and everybody else in our marketing department and leverage me and the brainstorming, that's one of the things that we're focused on doing is helping other people blow up their brand in our space, blow up their YouTube channel, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Any other thoughts or points you want to add, Dylan? At the end of the day, like it's all about if you're ever wanting to build a team, you're ever wanting to grow a brand, an online brand, a call center, sell a product to anybody, you know, um, have prospects coming to you for whatever you sell, then you need to produce content. You need to become a legit freaking influencer. Most of the people that are in our industry are not doing it good enough. Okay. So let's do it better. And let's realize, you know, we put up, we pumped up, we pumped out 13 videos last week, but Dylan, we had, we had what? A month ago where we put out like or maybe a month and a half, three, four, three weeks ago, whatever, we put out like 21 videos in a week, right? Yeah, we're averaging about 15 a week. Average, we're at, is what I try to go for. Yeah, we're averaging about 15 videos a week on YouTube. That is a freaking crap ton of videos, right? Over the course of 52 weeks, we are on pace to put up 780 videos a year. Over the course of three years, we're putting up over 3,000 videos. That's a lot of stinking videos, right? Which is why you need to be thinking about how you can leverage what you're doing, how you can get more attention, how you can monetize it, how you can stop thinking so short term, start spending some money and thinking long term and put out content to help people. Okay. People work with people who educate them, start educating people. Thanks for watching insurance influencers. I love this show. I want to keep doing it. I want to keep educating you on how you can blow up your brand, get more attention, turn yourself into a brand. You are a brand and how you can start to help more people by thinking of yourself differently, okay? And by putting out a lot more content. So thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.